As a quarterback, what you do with your eyes matters. Right now, you're thinking, what the heck is he looking at? And that's because I looked you off. We're going to be talking about using your eyes from the pocket, and it's coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today I want to talk to you about a subject near and dear to my heart as a quarterback, and that's using your eyes. It's something that as you progress in your career, you learn how to do better. You gain confidence, and you understand why it works. Let's talk about why first. Before we do that, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe. Ring that bell, get notified every time we have new stuff coming out. Give us a like, hit that thumbs up button down below, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Now remember, as a quarterback, defenses know that you can't throw where you can't see. And so as a result, defensive coaches, especially as you progress, teach the defense to mirror the quarterback's eyes with their movement. And so as a quarterback, if you know how to use your eyes effectively, you can move people around the field. I'm going to look at film in just a second here, and we're going to talk about looking people off, and I'm going to show you how it affects more than just the safety, which is what most people think. There was a time in the Arena League when we played in the Arena Bowl Championship, and there was one DB in particular who went on to be a fantastic coach, and he was really smart, and he would chase my eyes. Well, I looked him off, threw the go route over the top of him, and at the end of the game, they asked me, well, why did you throw that ball, or what were you doing? And I said, look, I know... This guy, and I won't mention his name, was playing out there. And I said, he's really smart, but I can look him in the locker room if I wanted to. And so by using my eyes, now in my 10th year of playing professional football, I was able to create an opening for my receiver to throw the deep ball and get a touchdown. It's really effective if you learn how to do it. Why don't a lot of young quarterbacks do it? Well, they haven't had the reps, and they don't have the confidence in looking people off. You'll hear people all the time say, use your eyes, you know, look him off. Well, what does that mean? As a quarterback or coach, you need to understand conceptually where the play is set up to get somebody open and where it's set up to get somebody open versus different coverages. In order to look somebody off, you need to be able to anticipate where that opening is going to be. And so that all plays a part in it. If you're not confident in your reads, then you probably won't be using your eyes very well. If you're not confident in your receivers, you probably won't be using your eyes very well. And if you're not confident in the concepts, if you don't know the concepts, you won't be using your eyes very well. So it's really important, A, that you get a ton of reps with your receivers, understand where their breaks are, what they're going to do, with the routes that you're going to be using, so that you understand what the concepts are that you can throw and where those openings are going to be, and so that you understand those concepts, and that you practice looking off, because bringing your eyes back from point A to your target and being accurate is a skill that you have to develop. But as a coach, I want you to be smart and help your quarterbacks out. As we develop offense or as you find plays, if you watch other film, what you want to do is you want to find plays that you can install that have progressions that you can build the look off into the progression. What does that mean? Well, it means as I look to number one, it pulls defense away from my second and third reads. And that means planning out your routes at depths, and at timing throughout the progression that gets your quarterback's eyes back there when those players come open. So think about that as a coach when you're creating offense, when you're implementing offense or taking offense from somebody else, which I think is just fine, that you work through those progressions, those route depths, and everything else, and work it out so that your quarterback's built-in response, his built-in read, takes people away with his eye progression. Now let's take a look at the film. I'll show you why we do it, and I'll show you some great examples of lookoffs, and you'll understand it better by the time I'm done. So let's start here. Bunch formation. What you're going to get is a go route on the outside, a drive or shallow cross route, a vertical route, and a vertical. So essentially, you're going to get three verts. As a quarterback, you have a single high safety, or what's called middle field closed. And so with this look, you're thinking about taking a shot at one of the vertical routes on the outside. When people think of looking off a defender, especially early on, they're always thinking of 
looking off the safety. Whether it's a two-on-one read where they're getting vertical on him or looking him away from one receiver, you know, looking him to his right, throwing the ball in here or vice versa. And that's kind of where everybody starts with the look off. But as a quarterback, you also want to make sure that safety can't help, especially when you're in a bunch formation like you have here, that that tight package that that safety can't get over the top. And so watch as the quarterback here uses his eyes to move this safety off the hash. Quarterback looks to his right and watch how the safety gets width right now. With his eyes, see him coming to the field. This safety can't help at all. You get one-on-one -on, -one on the backside, on the go route, for the winner. Great ball over the top, and we'll take a look at it from the end zone real quick here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So QB, watch him as he takes out, looks to his right. Eyes clearly this way. Safety heading this way. He knows he's got one-on-one -one, one -on -one down here. And so as he looks, he keeps that safety home. That safety can't help over the top. And then this quarterback at the top of his drop does a fantastic job of hitting a step, bouncing, and then ripping the go ball down the sideline. So a great job of using his eyes, moving the safety, and throwing a strike down the sideline. But safeties aren't the only people that move with your eyes. You have to remember, they're teaching linebackers to move as well. So as a quarterback, using your eyes to move safeties is fine. But let's take a look at what it does to underneath coverage and how it opens up routes too. I love this route because it kind of have, has a little flavor of everything that you like as a quarterback. It's really the drive. And so you are getting a post on the outside. They are playing match here. They said, you're all the way out to the field. I'm going to lock you up one-on-one, -on -one, let the quarterback beat you with a good pass. So, okay, you're using this receiver to take two guys, including that safety. So, post clears two. Then, they're going to bring motion across and run the shallow cross with the basic cross behind it, the drive concept that made Jerry Rice a Hall of Famer. On the backside... They're going to run a deep, looks like either a hook or a pivot. And watch the defense as the quarterback uses his eyes front side. He's looking post first. You see the defense start to pull out. Back is also swinging, by the way. Then he comes back inside, and he's looking at the drive basic combo. And you're going to see this corner fall off and sag. Meanwhile, linebackers all stay inside. And this leaves this flat undefended. So watch his eyes. Sends his motion. And he's keying that safety. He knows that safety is up high. So single high safety, you're probably not going to have that post. But he brings his eye front side. And look... With his eyes front side, everybody started moving right. He started moving people to the field, linebackers. Now his eyes are back inside. He's got the drive and then the basic behind it. He could have taken a shot at either one of these. But watch, even now, with his eyes inside, straight down the middle of the field, how the backers are honoring where he's looking. Boom, guy's still rolling to his right. Routes moving away, eyes still down the middle. These guys are still moving this way. What does that do? On the backside, it leaves this hook wide open. He's one-to-one, -one, but because the quarterback's looking over here, he's still trailing inside. He's looking back at the quarterback's eyes. So as he comes back out of this pivot, he's there. Ball's a little outside. Now, I don't know if that's the quarterback or the receiver. That could have been a pivot where he's supposed to come back outside. Could have been a hook, and the quarterback's just wide. I don't know. Let's take a look at it from the backside here one time. Just watch the quarterback's eyes. Sends his motion. Looking left. As he looks left, these guys are all looking left. Now, routes are definitely crossing the field here. He's got a post that's about to pop out over the top. 
and back swung away. But with his eyes left, everybody's following his eyes. Everybody's chasing his vision across the field. And that leaves that hook on the outside all by itself with the flat. Again, staying in the middle, everybody moving, flowing with routes. You can see the shadow, this defender coming left as well. Finally gets back over to the hook. And I wasn't in the room, so I don't know if that was the receiver or the quarterback on that hook. Could have been one or either or both that were wrong on the play. But my point is, as you can see, the eyes flow to the field. It leaves things open on the backside. It creates open zones because people flow with the quarterback's eyes. So what's the trick for young quarterbacks? Well, first off, practice. You want the reps. You want to do it so that you get comfortable with looking people off, using your eyes. Get comfortable with your receivers being where they're supposed to be. Get comfortable with the concepts you're going to use. And get comfortable getting your eyes back on target to be accurate with the football. Second, if you're a coach, build your progressions so that the look-off is built into the progression for the quarterback. It'll help them out big time. Third, if you're a quarterback, don't fall in love with the concept. You have to see them open to throw them open. And so don't think, I'm going to look this guy off and just come back and bang the go route. No, make sure that the guy moved where you wanted him to move. If you like what I did here today, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, hit that like button down below, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you videos that you'd like to see, concepts that you'd like to learn about. I'm happy to do them here at Elite Athletes TV. We're trying to help as many young athletes as possible. Quarterbacks are my specialty. So if I can help you as a quarterback, coordinator, coach, whatever it is, I'm happy to make you a video. Appreciate you watching. A little quarterback training, using your eyes, looking defenders off versus zone coverage. It's a fantastic tool. You ought to use it.